Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, and we're up to the final three Robot Masters from this game. And with that, it's time to move on to Ringman. Like Quickman, he was made solely to kill Mega Man. Why one chooses rings for this purpose, I don't really know, but I'm not a mad scientist. I don't think the way they do. So here we have these irritating platforms that vanish under our feet, and we also have wall blasters. <sighs> I hate these things. I hate most of this stage, really. But yes, wall blasters get annoying really quick. My personal theory is that over at the Capcom head offices, they have a room full of lab rats with tiny little NES controllers, playing the stage over and over and over to find the absolute worst places to put things like wall blasters. And thus they came up with the Mega Man Room of Bullet Hell. Whoa, oh gods. Uh, don't shoot me, please. Whoa. Yeah. Ugh. I hate that room. I despise it. I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. Here we are introduced to the first mini-boss of the Ringman stage, Hippo Platter. Yeah, it's not an imaginative name, really. He's a hippo, he's on a platter, so it does get the point across. It doesn't tell us, though, that he'll be firing these annoyingly tiny homing missiles at us, or that we have to keep shooting down his uh, pedestal so we can actually hurt him. Okay, that's one down. Now, for all the world, this thing looks like a buzzsaw to me, but apparently it's called a spark spine. And those were Saturn Seekers. Whoops. I would have commented on Saturn Seekers earlier, but I was busy ranting about the, uh, the Wall Blasters. They only take one hit to destroy, though, and they just very slowly drift toward you. Not much of a threat. Hey, Sparkspine. I banish you into the Shadow Realm. I have Ferroman's power now, so I can do that, yeah? Because I'm good at children's card games. Huh. Okay. This is a Whapper, the second mini-boss of the stage. This one, at least, if you stay all the way against this wall, he can't hit you with anything. You can only damage it when he shows his eyes. Unfortunately, that's also when he attacks. That'll be a problem later. Okay, Kit says that mini-bosses always attack in twos, and he's right. Here's Hippo Platter number two. Every bit as annoying as the first one. Oh, yeah. I really wish the hitboxes on the missiles were just a little bit bigger so they were easier to destroy. I don't know if that came out coherently or not. I don't really care at this point. I'm tired of doing this stage. And I'm just still hoping that this one will actually count. Okay, he's gone, so I can move on. Alright, you see a ladder up there, but we'll worry about that some other time. For now, we have these festive orange and pink uh, mono rotors. I still say these are escape carnival rides or something. Here we have more disappearing platforms, but these ones are a little different. They vanish in the way you're running towards, giving them a different degree of difficulty, but nothing we can't handle. I'm not going to have my run ended by a Saturn Seeker, thank you very much. Now if anything's going to end my run, it'll be this guy down here. Yes, the rule of two strikes again, so we have to deal with another Whapper. This one, unfortunately, is close enough to hit you with his attacks. You have to be very good, or very lucky, or both. I've had this guy run my uh, end my run several times by hitting me after he was dead. Really annoying, that. Come on, die, please, and don't hit me. Yes, I'm through! Okay, good. Because Ringman himself really isn't much of a problem. He isn't anywhere near as good as killing, Me uh, killing Mega Man as Quick Man was. So here we go. Hi, Ringman. You have an easy pattern. Jump the first ring, slide, jump over you, and the rest is just easy timing. Oh, come on. Die, please. Die in a fire! Yes! Ringman is gone. Ringman himself? No problem. His stage? A bloody nightmare. Thankfully, it's a nightmare that's behind us. <sighs> Deep cleansing breath. 
With that, we receive the Ring Boomerang, which can be a pretty useful weapon at times. You basically saw Ring Man using it, you just throw a ring and it comes back to you. So, thankfully that's out of the way. And then there were two. Oh, Ring Man. You may have sucked, but your stage was evil. Pure evil. Yeah, outtake time. Plenty of them. Get them while they're hot. absolutely despise this room. The... no... Uh, yeah. Come on, what is this place? This is just madness. It's evil. It's Sparta. Oh, shouldn't have stopped a fire. Unfortunately, it keeps adding more to raise him out of your striking distance. Uh-huh, yeah, okay, fine, the curse is back. Oh, bastard. Second floor, big ol' hippos. Ow! I seriously wish the hitboxes on the missiles was a little bit bigger. Uh-oh. Oh yeah? I fear not your curse. I accept your challenge. What do you think of me now? Apparently you think I'm an easy target. Oh no! Ah! I've had this guy kill me while he was dying, which was really annoying. And there it is again! I can't believe that! Right, that tears it. Revenge! Revenge! Sweet rain flushy revenge! <laughs> More revenge! Sweet Pharaoh shotty revenge. Eat Pharaoh shot. You nightmare of a hippo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ha! <laughs> Re revenge? More revenge? Yes? <laughs> drill bomb revenge! Yes! More drill bombs! Hey, drill bombs! I'm not done with them yet. Oh, I didn't know you could do that with them. Drill bombs! Sweet, bright, stoppery revenge! 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 Revenge? Revenge! Does it work here too? Maybe? More revenge? Revenge? Stops your missiles. Revenge! 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 Sweet dust crushery revenge! 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 Yeah. Sorry about that, I don't know what came over me. Right, anyway, showing off what's up this ladder. Uh, I'll use the balloon adapter, since we haven't shown that off yet. All we have up here is Eddie. Uh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> uh, thanks, Eddie. Huh. <sighs> yeah. REVENGE! Sweet balloony revenge! Oh, okay, maybe not. So yeah, this place... Oh. <laughs> this was horrible. But you'll notice one thing that never showed up in the outtakes, and that's Ringman himself. That made raiding this place a bit tricky, but in the end I think this is the best I can come up with for it. I give the Ringman stage a 9 out of 10, and that's purely because of the stage this time. Ringman almost serves as a breather after his place. Getting through it just by itself isn't so bad. Trying to do so without getting hit? Ugh. Yeah, I really hated this place. The bullet hell room, the hippo platters, the whappers, 
and with Wappers especially getting hit by that last one after he was already dead. That happened several times. I wanted to scream, seriously. Ringman himself? I beat him the first time I got to him. His pattern is really easy to pick up on if you just get the timing right, and that's pretty simple to do. For Robot Master that was designed solely to kill Mega Man, his stage does a better job of it than he himself does, and that's pretty sad, really. So yes, thankfully this one's done. Let us never speak of this place again. So with that, we're down to the last two for Mega Man 4. And... So yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Until then, fare thee well.